All right, I'd like to read you on behalf of this group of alums, uh, comments from Arnie, Professor Arnold Hampel, who, is, who did learn how to retire, unlike some of us. Uh, Arnie is out in Arizona, and he called me a couple of days ago uh, to say that he had had uh, root canal and surgery in his mouth, and at the last minute would not be able to attend, but he wanted me to share these comments with you. So I'm just gonna read what he sent. Lois, thank you for all you've done and for conveying this message to everyone assembled. I truly wish I could be with all of you, but two infected de teeth, teeth decided on their own that this weekend was not the time for me to travel. I was not even consulted. Congratulations to each of you awardees. I went through all the bio sketches on the NIU website and you are each an outstanding and worthy representation of NIU. I am very grateful for this recognition myself, and I sincerely thank all who conceived the event and planned it and carried it out. I am just so appreciative of NIU and the wonderful opportunities it offered a farm boy in the Burlington Township who commuted to school between chores and other farm work. I'm so grateful for the outstanding faculty I account encountered across the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Since I'm being honored tonight as a math department grad, I want to give special thanks to Professor Cristiano who conveyed math in such a logical and understandable fashion. My younger brother has reminded me how excited I was at first having understood the mean value theorem and the explanation I diagrammed to him on the farm milk house wall. He says the explanation is still there. Other wonderful memories of NIU are working in Professor Sid Mittler's genetics lab at the Pooler House with my friend, Jerry Zarr. One time, Jerry came out to the farm to help me with the farm chores, followed by a little rural relaxation, which consisted of shooting arrows on our archery course. The course was located within our house. We shot arrows from the back of my older brother's bedroom, down the hall, across the head of the stairs, and into a target across from my bedroom. The target was frequently missed, and arrows went into the wall, making a nice decorative touch. Remember that, Jer? I often think that what I often think and wonder what you really thought of that fun living, fun loving farm family. In addition to the great time and excellent faculty I encountered at NIU, I've always been amazed at the high level of performance by NIU students. In addition to all of you, I experienced so many others while I was a professor in molecular biology there. Some are in the slides that you have been shown. For example, the slide of the Hampel Lab in 1974 includes that bespeckled young man, second from the left, John McKeern, who went on from Northern to become one of the world's most successful pharmaceutical scientists. He has over 50 patents and is responsible for the development of 15 major drugs, including Celebrex, which at one point was the leading selling drug in the world. He recently moved from his position as Senior Vice President of Research at Pharmacopoeia Corporation to form his own highly successful consulting firm. I could go on about my career at Northern and my students, but I want to thank you all for this honor and for the chance to express my gratitude. Arnie Hample.